BC tear during OVD washing out while washing out the viscoelastic behind the IOL of a posterior capsule BC tear occurred, which subsequently enlarged during continued irrigation of the anterior chamber. In this context, the question arises should we leave the IOL or extract the IOL and do it anterior vitrectomy and replace it with previous IOL? Let's watch this case. I started with 2.4 clear corneal incision, injecting the viscoelastic, dispersive one, then doing the capsule rexes which is about 5.5 to 6 millimeter it's centered it's well sized then doing hydro dissection to bar synthesis then rotate the nucleus you can see complete rotation and here is the time for the chopping this dense nucleus as you can see i'm applying a horizontal chop technique i chop and split the nucleus in two halves then each half split into small uh, pieces then each piece emulsified alone at the level of the pupil or just supranuclear as it's clear here is the end of the emulsifying of this dense nucleus still there is a nuclear shell and cortical shell now it's the time for the cortex removal you can see using the bimanual irrigation aspiration with gentle aspirating of the cortex with keeping the anterior chamber and the capsular bag well formed all the time of removing the uh, cortex as you can see then change the irrigation aspiration and complete the cortex removing you can see here i'm twisting the a paracentesis this is the my technique to prevent leakage of pro the uh, paracentesis around the uh, irrigation uh, probe to keep the anti chamber and the capsular bag will form it now everything is good everything is fine then injecting cohesive OVD to uh, form the anterior chamber and the capsular bag and single piece hydrophobic IOL is implanted inside the capsular bag with adjusting and settling the IOL inside the capsular bag using the Sensky as it's clear actually in all of my cases I'm uh, washing the viscoelastic anterior and behind the IOL as usual and here is after removing the viscoelastic anterior the IOL I wait behind so once i'm trying to remove the viscoelastic i hit the posterior capsule and it was open but it's looked that the bc tear is small so in this case i keep the irrigation inside the anterior chamber to prevent any collapsing then i inject uh, the mic hole to constrict the pupil as you can see then i did stromal hydration for the paracentesis but still there is viscoelastic inside the anterior chamber so i went again inside the anterior your chamber but look here what's happened the PC tear enlarged so now should we leave this IOL with this tear or should we extract this IOL and do an anterior vitrectomy and put three piece IOL haptics in the sulcus and optic capturing the capsule rexes actually I did this case in 2023 and I left the IOL I didn't extract it I didn't uh, exchange the IOL and until now the condition is very good and the vision of the patient is 2020 and thank you for watching.